Welcome to the overview of the ideas tool and dual committee structure module. The intent of this module is to identify the seven steps of the ideas tool and define the roles of a design team and steering committee. These are the core elements of a participatory total worker health program. The term ideas stands for intervention design and analysis scorecard. All of the materials you need to facilitate the ideas process can be located from the ideas landing page shown here. The materials have been field tested and evaluated in different workplaces. You can adapt them as needed to suit your organization. Ideas is a seven step planning process. The goals of the ideas tool are to develop interventions that address root causes of issues related to safety, health, and well being in an integrative way in line with total worker health. Increase communication and collaboration about health and safety at all levels of the organization. Develop a business case that is compelling to workers and management alike. And implement solutions that are effective, well accepted, and sustainable. Who participates in the ideas tool process? This graphic represents the roles and the dynamics between two committees. What is the role for each committee? The management committee is referred to as the steering committee. They provide resources, oversee the program, and help support implementation and evaluation of new procedures, equipment, programs, and policies. The design team is a frontline level group. They help identify root causes to hazards and health concerns. They design concepts for interventions and propose them to the steering committee. A facilitator guides the process and helps to document the work of the teams. The most important aspect is the communication feedback loop that is built into the process, getting people talking first with their peers and then across the organizational hierarchy is critical for building a strong climate for safety and health. Having the two committees is simply a way to structure those dialogues. Designing interventions is done as a group process over a period of weeks or months. Consistent participation by the same group of people is important for continuity. Your organization may choose to use existing committees to progress through the ideas process, and this is perfectly fine. Take the time to train the committee members so that they may understand their roles. This slide shows the kinds of people you might recruit for each committee. You can find recruitment tools on the Forum Program Teams page on the Toolkit website. For the design team, personal qualities are very important. We want enthusiasm, credibility, and an attitude of being open to learning from others. Now that we know who participates in the process, how does the process work? The ideas process assumes that a specific health, safety, or well being concern has been identified as the focus of intervention planning. You can find tools for assessment and issue selection on the website. Once you identify an issue to focus on, you're ready to begin the ideas process. The ideas seven steps include Step one, identify root causes. Step two, Develop measurable objectives and solution activities. Step three, set criteria for selecting and evaluating interventions. Step four, form interventions and apply selection criteria. Step five, rate and select intervention options. Step six, plan and implement interventions. And step seven, monitor and evaluate interventions. Ideas steps three and five are times the design team and steering committee should meet and work together. We have gone over the ideas process and who is involved, but what are the specific roles of the different groups we have mentioned? The design team will take the lead in steps one through four of the ideas process. They will use their knowledge of the work process and their coworkers to understand what factors contribute to a problem and what solutions may work. The steering committee will take the lead on the later stages, ideas steps five through seven. These steps require access to budget and personnel resources. Managers can help refine the business case and figure out how to secure the necessary resources to implement solutions from the design team. It is important to note that the first time through the ideas process will involve learning for everyone. The teams will become more efficient with practice. The Healthy Workplace Participatory Program Toolkit provides a facilitator manual and leader guides for each step of the ideas process. 
The facilitator manual contains all the materials you will need. We suggest you print a copy and store it in a binder for easy reference. The facilitator preparation section summarizes the meeting activities and materials for each step. Each idea step comes with a pre-designed meeting agenda, activities, and handouts for the design team. The facilitator meeting agenda contains scripted prompts for reference during the ideas meetings. You can adapt these based on your experience and your local situation. The design team handouts contain simple meeting agendas and handouts for group activities. The ideas worksheets are intended to capture the design team's work and provide critical documentation when proposing interventions to the steering committee. Examples of completed worksheets are provided in the design team handouts for easy reference. In addition to ideas manuals and handouts, there are many other resources available on the program toolkit web pages. You can use the idea step videos to preview the procedure for each step before design team meetings. Facilitators can review the facilitation skills videos on the training and support page on the CPH new website. These videos can help you practice useful techniques as you guide the design team through the ideas process. You can learn more about the research foundations of this program by visiting the science behind page. And finally, you can access tools for recruiting and training team members on the forming teams page. Now that you have a basic understanding of the ideas tool, you are ready to proceed with using this process to help you create integrated total worker health solutions in your organization. You can also read about success stories on our website and contact us if you would like to speak with the program experts as you start your journey.